Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna talk about what uh, does the QA lead all, do all day. I mean, uh, this is from my point of view. It can differ from uh, company to company, from responsibilities to responsibilities. It depends what kind of project are you in, uh, what are your daily tasks and how is that project uh, structured. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the topics. So. Um, I would call this, I, I split this into two. Uh, one is the personal, uh, let's say, personal development and the other should be a project related, let's say, project related task. I think this is better. Okay, um, just as a small intro, outside is raining and it's December, it's not minus something, but it's still pretty cold. So I've made a fire in the fireplace, as you can see here, and I thought uh, this is a really good background for the video. So let's begin. What do I do all day? Um, we will start with the project related uh, tasks. Okay, of course you will see me looking down because I had to write them down because I, I know them all by heart but I need to structure them so in order I make this video much more entertaining for you and you get all the infos. Okay, uh, let's start with the um, uh, status uh, meetings or daily status, how do you want to call that? Uh, this is the usual um, agile ceremony, um, daily status within the team. What did I do yesterday? What I'm going to do today? Did I have any problems? Do I have any, uh, let's say, impediments that uh, help me uh, reaching um, the tasks or do I need help with anything? That's one of the things. Um, also, uh, depending on the project, in uh, this uh, project, I also have another meeting, another daily meeting within um, the project with other leads because um, the, we have some... Uh, I'm, I'm on the back end of this project, so um, we interfere with a lot of different apps, so we need to discuss daily if there is any problem that could affect other teams and such things like this. So we already started the day with uh, two meetings. One is uh, my daily uh, status meeting with a team and another meeting with the other uh, team uh, leads. Also, okay, besides this, um, there are some uh, regular tasks which are not uh, daily, let's say, but occur um, a few days a month. It, it depends. Uh, regular tasks which could be like a uh, task within the project. I have to write some tests. I have to, um, I don't know, test something, anything that involves that code review for my colleagues, uh, estimations and planning of a task. For example, a new task occurs and they need an opinion, how much it, will it take for you to test this or for your team, how can we schedule it to fit the client's needs and stuff like that. Also, we have the other Agile uh, ceremonies, which include here retro planning, grooming and stuff like that. Um, of course, uh, this depends from project to project, but if you're working on an non Agile development, Agile process, let's say, or Agile methodology, how do you want to call it, uh, then you're going to have uh, these uh, ceremonies. Okay, besides this, uh, client meetings, of course, depending on the client, you could have one, two or more a week, which uh, usually these are client meetings, so you discuss status of the tasks or maybe, um, I don't know, problems in the team or whatever the client seems fit and wants to discuss the status of some um, issues if there are any urgent issues and uh, they need a resolution on that one um, i think these are mostly demos for, but this is a part of the agile uh, ceremonies okay um let's see something else uh team meetings because um for example the client comes with a new task and um, we, the project could be split into um, uh, front end, back end, and so on. And uh, you need to have those uh, team meetings with all the teams so you can uh, schedule and plan the uh, development of that task, development and testing, of course. Uh, one other thing, let's say, um, uh, I, I left this like uh, the last one in the list, but it's not really the last point i would say um, this is a really important one because it's um, from my point of view you always need to find new ways to improve so uh, finding um, improvements in the process because everybody every every day you work with a process okay 
you have a process, you follow it day by day, but sometimes you find that that process can be improved. Maybe you don't need to have so many meetings. Maybe you could have uh, meetings with uh, fewer persons so you can uh, efficientize the time for everybody. So you don't spend so much time in meetings or maybe you could write some automated tests that could help you avoid testing manually the same thing over and over again. And you can have some tests, you just click run and that's it. And those are checked. Um, yeah, don't forget about finding improvements in the process. Also, um, there's another set of uh, things that I do on a regular basis. Uh, we'll say this, this is like uh, personal development for me and the team. Okay, so personal development for me and the team. Uh, here it implies uh, monthly feedback sessions, which can uh, be uh, from me with the team members and also uh, my managers and with me. So I'm 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 providing and giving back. I'm getting and I'm receiving and giving feedback every month. Uh, and this is really, really important. You should uh, do this if you're not doing it right now. You should start doing it, provide and uh, receive feedback every month so you know what you did well, what you didn't do so well, what can be improved and uh, other things like uh, planning some goals, like what you're going to do next year. Do you have some goals? Do you have some, I don't know, what do you want to learn next year? So you can evolve. So you can, uh, let's say, so you can... I'm repeating myself, not necessarily evolve, but uh, so you can r level up, let's say, like gamers want to say. Other things that I do, which are, um, let's say, personal development interviews. I participate in interviews for the company, which means um, it, this usually requires two team members. We go to an interview and we interview a person to see if it's fit or not for a position within the company. So it could be one of our colleagues. Yeah, this helps me a lot because um, I talk to a lot of people so I can understand what um, other companies are doing, how are they uh, performing their testing, what other um, tools they are using, uh, methodologies. Maybe if I find something that I'm, I've never heard of, I will uh, search that thing and learn maybe that can be an improvement in our process. So yeah, this is also one of the uh, points that um, helps me a lot. And uh, last but not least, I would say this is the um, personal development for me because I mentioned personal development for the team members, which uh, you offer and receive feedback for them. You set the goals for them. You make sure they get the proper uh, training. You make sure to coach them or whatever they need your support for. And uh, last but not least important, as I mentioned last time, it's the same thing, my personal development. Because I also need to get training in order to offer the, um, let's say, the right feedback and to provide a feedback that is really understood by the uh, person that I'm of offering to. So, um, yeah, that's one of the things. You can uh, get trained on how to offer feedback. You can get trained how to, I don't know, better time management, let's say, um, your soft skills. Maybe you need to upgrade your soft skills and stuff like that. You can imagine there are a lot of things. So I hope uh, this was um, helpful for you. Um, this is my, let's say, not my, day, my, my, daily, my, my daily life as a QA lead. This is what I do. I, I mentioned uh, some of the things I don't do them on a regular basis it is from time to time, like the agile ceremonies and meetings, depending on the topics you're into. But yeah, this is a life in a day of a QA lead. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.